Welcome back to fans, Lazy Gamer here. In this episode of Learning the Ultimate Doom Builder, we will cover the grid. Now, it might sound a bit mundane. You want to start creating your epic map with all the trimmings and with bells and whistles on, right? Well, trust me, we will get there. And we will indeed make a small room in today's episode. But we need to start with something very basic, but also something I feel is important. So let's get started. Now, first, we will, of course, need a map to uh, to practice on so let's start a new map it should be the only selection if you have any other selection remember to choose this one this is not important right now but it should be set as default uh, leave level name as map 01 we can change our uh, name our file anything but level names should be map a number and unless you are making a multi map what let's stick to one i have added a few resources that's not important you should have added the um, doom 2 what resource that's enough for now For some reason, it takes a little while to uh, create a new map, but we'll get there. There we are. And you might, before we get to the grid, ju let's just save our map as well. It's important. I will put mine in my... Uh, New tutorials, and I will call it or originally tutorial. And this is the map that I will be doing all the tutorialing on. So it's important to have it saved. And again, it takes a little while. GC Doom Builder was faster. But this is fairly new, so uh, perhaps there's some issues somewhere, at least for me. The grid, you will see it here. It is currently in 32. To change the grid size, I hope you have a num lock, num key. <laughs> Because the num plus and num minus adds or detracts from the number. The 64 bit, or is that something else? 64 by 64 is the standard floor slash ceiling texture in Doom. So, though you can, in Ultimate Doom Builder, change where, or alter, how it appears, it is always a good idea to make a map that... Um, adheres to that somewhat, at least to start with. You will see these squares. And I'll see if I uh, add or detract to 32. You will still see more squares you should also also notice that there are a bigger square that still refers to the larger one so when i am making my room 
we will follow these. Now in the 64 grid, 64 by 64, we can use these to make um, things happen. We have the line mode. It simply, simply makes a line. Right click to stop making lines. Control Z to undo. The shortcut for draw line is simply Control and D. And we can make more lines. We can even make a room. Draw curve mode will make a curve. I almost never use this, but it's there. It will also make a room if we connect. That, that almost looks like the Nike logo. Anyway, this draw rect a rectangle will conversely make a rectangle or a square, depending on your choice. Control Shift D does the same thing. And we can draw an ellipse. That could be fun. I won't use it now, but Shift Alt D should make a rectangle. And just to make an, two notes actually. First, this will not necessarily make these points align to anything on the grid that might um, that might have uh, issues further on also control alt d again you will see some options here you can choose how many sides the um, ellipses will have and also angles rotation and otherwise let's un undo that for now control shift d for rectangle we will make a 512 by 512 room we press home we will uh, it will automatically automatically show the entire map which in our case is this one room so we are much closer I will now with the it's a bit hard to see the grid because we are looking at our um, floor texture to make this easier, we can change how this looks. We can, for instance, look at the ceiling texture, which looks like that. We can have the brightness level, which is average. We, we will go into that later. But for now, let's just show wireframe so we can see the entire grid inside our map room. And just, this is something I feel you should always do when you uh, start a map, is start with the player start room, and we will go to uh, things mode, or T, we will right click somewhere in this room. It doesn't matter, we can change it later. I like to just start there. 
The first thing that starts as a thing, we will cover things in the future, but the first thing that appears will be player start one. I want it to face north, so let's do that and press OK. Now this is selected, press C to unselect everything. It is now green. And we have now created our first room based on the grid, which we can change with plus and minus to suit our need. We can go down to one. I would suggest never work in one unless you are really good at what you're doing. Uh, but I um, have been known to go down to 8 at least, but I usually work in 32 by 32 grid. So we'll, we'll, we will stay with that setting as the end of our tutorial series for this episode. This has been your host, the Lazy Gamer. Logging off. Bye, guys.